Hey, it's Adam. So I missed last week's posting and that is because I was on TikTok. That's my only excuse. I've been having way too much fun on there. I've been posting every single day and it's just so easy when I'm like filming a repotting to just pick up the phone, film it and then post it. It's usually like a one minute video or less and it's just so easy. I love the plant community on there, plant talk. It's just so awesome. I've already made a whole bunch of friends and everyone's just like so nice on there. I made a repotting video of right up here that ivy and that golden pothos and those did really well and then someone asked me um, why i soaked the pot in the video so i made a reply to that video and then i explained why we soak pots and how to and it got a lot of attention there were so many people who didn't know why you would soak your clay pot before potting in it and how to do it so um, I'm glad I made that video. I enlightened a few people and now I thought I would do the same on my YouTube and just for everyone watching here Teach you why we soak our clay pots and how to I forget exactly when I learned to soak your clay pot But I just remember always doing it and I would never just like plant in dry clay I would always make sure that I soaked the pot first But so the first reason why you should soak your terracotta pot is because it is so dry it's probably been manufactured for a while and just sitting on a store shelf, bone dry. So if you take that bone dry pot and you plant in it right away, it's gonna steal the water from your plant and from the soil of your plant. Even a few weeks after planting in dry terracotta, I've noticed that it still takes my plant's water and the plant doesn't get properly watered. That is why it's important to hydrate the pot first by soaking it in water. And then when you plant it up, the plant keeps its water and the pot keeps its water and then eventually both will dry out and then you can just continue watering like normal. Okay, and the second reason why you're gonna want to soak your pot before planting in it is because it actually prevents cracks from easily happening. So before I get started on how to soak your clay pot, I just want to clarify, you might ask what happens if I've already planted in dry terracotta. After a few weeks, it should be fine. The pot will eventually hydrate and then you can just continue treating it like a normal potted plant. So the pot and the plant should both be fine. If you're noticing that your pot is still not hydrating after several weeks of planting in dry terracotta, you might want to find a solution that does not involve unpotting your plant, right? You just want to find out how you can soak the pot and still keep the plant in it and not have to worry about unpotting it. I would let your plant dry out a little bit more than usual. Don't let it go completely bone dry unless it can withstand that. but. Try to get it a little bit more dry than usual. And then you're gonna want to soak the pot, the soil, the plant, just soak everything and let everything hydrate again. Try to do this in like a deep bucket or like a sink. And yeah, it should really help without having to make you unpot your entire plant. This will rehydrate the terracotta pot and your plant and it'll still avoid overwatering. Since you made sure the plant was dry enough before you decided to give it a thorough soaking. Okay, now I'm going to show how to soak your pot. It's super easy. I'm just going to bring you to the sink. Okay, so the first step to soaking your pot is just rinsing off the pot first. What this does is it gets rid of any dust from when it was getting manufactured and just all that terracotta dust gets wiped off. I don't know why I like to do this first. It just kind of makes sense to me. Then what you're going to want to do is kind of pull the plug on the sink. So make sure it's closed. As you can see, I just closed it. And then you can put it on its side or however you want to put it in the sink. And then just literally let the sink fill up. You can totally do this in a bucket. I just don't have a bucket right now. Okay, and finally, when your sink has filled up until it's covering the pot, you just let it soak for half an hour. But since my sink can only hold a certain amount of water, I filled it halfway. And then after 15 minutes, I'm going to turn the pot halfway and then let the other half of the pot soak. If you just do this in a bucket or if your sink is deep enough, then you can probably just do it in one go and just after half an hour, your entire pot will be soaked. Okay, and after half an hour, your pot is probably gonna look something like this and it is now ready for planting. Don't just throw this water away. Make sure you use it to water your other plants because then that would be kind of a waste. <laughs> okay, and that's really all it takes. It's just a simple step. Just let your pot soak for half an hour before you decide to pot up. And now for the people in my comments that did not agree with me on TikTok. 99% of the comments were like, wow, this is really helpful. I did not know this and my plants are in dry terracotta. No wonder they're not hydrating. And then the other 1% was like, 
oh, that's kind of a waste of water, or I planted in dry terracotta and my plant's fine. So first of all, I didn't just drain the sink with that water in it. I used it to water my other house plants. I would never just waste water like that. And second, not everyone needs to do this. If you pot in dry terracotta and it's fine, that's fine. <laughs> if you feel like your pots are fine without soaking them before and you just wanna plant in dry terracotta, that's totally fine. This video is kind of meant for people who plant in dry terracotta and notice that it steals their plant's water. I just prefer to do the simple step before potting in terracotta. It's always helped me and it's helped so many people now on my TikTok. It's just a little planting hack and it really makes a big difference. And this is the end. If you haven't already checked out my TikTok and my Instagram, I'm having so much fun making stuff on those two platforms, just like posting a picture, like whenever I'm doing something plant related or just making a quick little video. And stay tuned for next week's video. I'll see you soon.